Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? And welcome to this morning's Positive BFT. So if you're around, come in and let me know that you're joining me. If you're watching on the replay, you are equally as welcome. So for those of you who are new to the group, and we have some gorgeous new group members. Um, my name is Yvonne. I'm an EFT practitioner, a positive psychology life coach, and an online business mentor. And I help women who struggle with confidence to believe in themselves. And some of the ways I do that is through EFT, through positive psychology, life coaching, and through um, meditation, journaling, lots of personal development tools. So um, this morning, so I introduce people to EFT through positive affirmations. So this morning I have pulled some beautiful affirmations for you. And I'm going to to show them to you now. So I'll just wait for a couple of people to pop on. So if you're here, come in and say hello. Um, I'll just check them in the right place. Oh, welcome to. Ooh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so this morning, got some lovely cards, some really, really nice messages. So it'll be interesting to hear what your message is in these cards today. So the first one I have pulled is from Louise Hayes. Um, life loves you deck and it says love is my teacher okay so on the back of it it says think of somebody you care for deeply ask love to show you how to make your relationship sweeter and more loving okay so that's really nice um so love is my teacher so sometimes we can get complacent about our relationships and we can just you know be moseying along thinking everything is rosy and we might not understand that somebody might be suffering in silence um, because they love us and they might be afraid to say what they need to say. So love, let love be your teacher. So ask, ask it, how can I make my relationship sweeter and more loving? And if you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, my relationship is pretty good right now. Brilliant. So ask yourself, what could I do? What could I do to feel gratitude? How could I show the person that I love today that I love them? Okay. What could I do? And it could simply be making them a cup of tea, making them a cup of coffee. Um, it could be just saying thank you, acknowledging them and saying, you know what? Thank you. I'm really happy right now. Okay. So, and equally, if you're struggling right now, and your relationship is struggling, then ask yourself, what could I do to help the situation instead? A lot of the time, I'm going to blame with relationships. It's really easy to go into the blame zone. But the blame zone won't benefit anybody. All that does is fuel anger and fuel tempers. So if you can go into the space of, well, what can I do to make this situation better? And it could be that you have to make really difficult decisions. But that's okay, because making the difficult decisions will be will ultimately be the thing that will help you to to act from a place of love rather than fear. Okay, because when we act from a place of fear, you know, our word becomes toxic, our actions become toxic. We're we're going to protection mode instead of if you can act from a place of love then it's a much nicer space, okay? So what perspective can you get from that today? And then um, the next one is, what's the next one? Be impeccable with your word. Okay, so seek to know the truth. So again, it could be asking that question, is everything okay? Okay, so my partner asked me that the whole time. I'm like, why? Is that, uh, 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 is, what makes you think everything's not okay? But he'll just say, well, I'm just checking. I'm just checking because I don't always know. So, and it's nice, actually, that someone checks in and kind of says, are you okay? It's really nice. It's a nice space to be in. Okay, so on the back of it, it says, when you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Okay, so when you hear an opinion and believe it, <coughs> you make an agreement. That's so true. So we make a decision, we make an agreement, and it becomes part of our belief system. 
Okay. So what can you do to catch yourself doing that today so that you break you break that habit of making that agreement? It's an unconscious agreement, but you make the agreement. Okay. So break this agreement. Make a new one based on the truth instead of an assumption. Okay. So we make assumptions the whole time. We're afraid to seek clarification or afraid to seek the truth. But actually, the truth is the thing that will set you free. Because it's the assumption that keeps you stuck. Okay? So I really, really like that card. So seek to know the truth. So how can you seek to know the truth today? Just asking that question can be really, really empowering. Okay, and then, and da, 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 what's the next one? So, hmm, okay, so following on, the most effective way to do it is to just do it, okay? So this is from a deck called You've Got This, okay? So the most effective way to do it is to just do it, just ask. Just do the thing that you're putting off, just do it. Because by putting it off, you overthink it. You sit, you sit in it. You overthink it. You create stories. Your brain then creates stories of protection, and the stories of protection can be you know, that the person doesn't like me, or you create a story that's not true, or you put yourself into a scenario where you live out. How many times have you done that? You create the scenario. You try and play it out, and then it becomes a much bigger thing than the actual situation. So I work with a lot of people that suffer from anxiety and um, a lot of the time, the thing that that they're thinking, that is the thing that they are like, oh my God, that's not what I'm thinking at all. That's not what the situation is at all, but I've overthought it completely. So yeah, so just do it, okay? And then the final one is it's from the fifth agreement. So the fifth agreement, I love the fifth agreement because the fifth agreement says to question everything. Okay. So question everything. And it says, today is the day of my last judgment. Now, look at that. It's beautiful flowers, nice cup of coffee today. Okay. On the back of it, it says, today is the very last day that I judge either myself or anybody else. It's the day that I accept myself just the way I am. And I accept everybody else just the way they are. The reward, the reward is my eternal happiness. So to accept people as they are is the biggest gift you can give yourself. The biggest frustration we encounter as we go through life is to try and change people. Okay. So when you try to change somebody, What happens? You end up frustrated. You end up agitated. You end up annoyed, right? If you can accept, whether it's bad or good, if you can accept somebody for the way they are and release yourself from trying to change them, then you enter into a whole, a, a much nicer space. All you can change is how you respond, okay? So if you sit back into acceptance and accept I can't change them, all I can change is how I respond to them. It's a much nicer space than sitting in a place of frustration going, well, why won't you change? Why? What's wrong with you? (laughs) We go into this dialogue that, you know, it's not our responsibility to change somebody. We can't change people. So we need to sit in the space of, for our sakes, of sit in the space of I'm going to change how I respond to that person okay and I'm going to accept me for me so equally if somebody's trying to change you or gets frustrated with you for you being a certain way then instead of you getting frustrated with yourself and thinking well why am I like that sit back and go well that's how I am that there's a part of me that needs some work if it's an area that needs some work And that's okay. So even acknowledging that is a much nicer space than, why am I like this? What's wrong with me? That's a horrible space to be in. Sitting back and going, okay, there's a part of me that needs to work, needs to do some work in this. 
and that's okay. Much the, the emotional charge attached to those two things is completely different. Okay, so hmm, lots of information to take in there. So the main thing is let, let love be my teacher. So love is my teacher. Okay, seek to know the truth. To be impeccable with your word. The most effective way to do that is to do it. So just ask. And today is the last day that you judge you or anybody else. Okay. So let me know in the chat if you re if you resonate with any of those cards, and if there's a message in there for you today. What's the message? Okay. And now we are going to do some tapping. So. I want you to think about if there's anybody in your life at the minute that's causing you difficulty, how you deal with them. Okay, so let's reframe them from difficult people to spiritual teachers. Okay, that's a much nicer statement because you can learn so much from somebody who's difficult. So you can learn a lesson from anyone and try to focus on people you find difficult and how they come to be that, how they came to be that way. So what else, what can you do to ease their suffering? So again, to change how you respond. Okay. What can you learn from their behaviors? These could be all journal problems, right? So what can you learn from their behaviors so that you are not, so that you are not a difficulty to others? So noticing how difficult people and how people respond to them, how can you change that for yourself so that you're not a difficult person to deal with? Okay, so now we're gonna do some tapping. So this is the good stuff. So if you've never tapped with me before, I want you to um, just follow me. I'll guide you, do as I do and say as I do. And um, what I will do is we release some emotional charges that might be attached to this. Okay. So if there's anything that's popping up for you right now with these cards, then ask yourself, how can I release this emotional charge? So tapping is going to help you. Okay. So we're going to start at the karate chop. You can see I've sliced my finger. <sighs> anyway, so we're going to start in the karate chop. So this is the setup statement. So why do we do a setup statement? So when we do a setup statement, we call it the truth of the matter. So what's going on right now? So even though these cards have brought up a message for me today, okay, and given me some new insight about how I respond to people and to myself. Right here, right now, I acknowledge that that's how I feel. And I'm just gonna send myself some love. Okay, so you just repeat that statement. Okay, so even though there's a message in these cards for me today. It's shown me that I need to do a little bit of work. And right here, right now, I acknowledge that that's how I feel. And I'm just going to send myself some love. So one more time in the karate chop. So even though these messages are showing up an, an, an aspect of inner work that I need to do today. And right here, right now, I acknowledge that that's okay. And I'm just going to send myself some love. Okay, so I'm going to move to the eyebrow. So I would usually tap with both hands, but this finger is sore, so I'm not going to. Okay, so tapping on the eyebrows. Okay, so just thinking about that area that needs a little bit of work. So maybe it is that you need to sit back into the place of acceptance. Okay, side of the eye. Instead of a place of judgment. So instead of, why are you like that? Sit back into, well, that's the way you are, and this is how I respond. Okay, under the eye. And as you tap on the acupressure points, what that's doing is it's calming any stress response. So a lot of the times when we're trying to come up with a solution, negative thoughts or feelings can come in, or the critic can come in, as I call it, or the chimp. Some people know it as the chimp. Because it's your inner critical voice under the mouth comes in and starts to criticize you. OK, so if you might have thoughts like, um, well, that person is like that because you make them like that or because of, you know, whatever. So your critical voice has a field day. 
And if you have any bit of self-doubt, then it feeds into that. And we make that agreement that that message is true. So a bit like it said, collarbones in the card, when we hear an opinion and believe it, and that can be from our inner critic, it doesn't have to be from an external person, we make an agreement that that's true. Okay, so under the arm, so a lot of people, so I help a lot of people with anxiety and a lot of the time, the stories that they tell themselves, they actually think are true because they have catastrophized, their anxiety has catastrophized that story. And actually when they, when they communicate that that's how they're feeling and the person or the thing that they were feeling it about, it turns out that it's not that at all. Okay, so tapping helps to calm that response and it allows you to come to a new place of perspective. So when we gain perspective, we gain empowerment. So we did a lovely session on this last night in my Resilience and Connection Circle. Um, we, um, so we released something that was annoying us or bothering us and then we gained some new perspective about why that kept us stuck for so long. It was a really, really beautiful session. It was so empowering. We did a lovely meditation afterwards. We did some journaling in the middle as well. So it's really, really nice. So when you tap, you reduce the stress response. Okay. So memories or feelings might pop up. You might be thinking, why is that coming up now? It's all relevant. Even if you don't understand it, it's all relevant. So even this morning, actually, we had a journal prompt on in the morning circle we had a journal prompt on what was your favorite subject at school so keep tapping <laughs> and um the new perspective i gained from that was my favorite subject was pe and the game in particular that came up was uh chasing hunt we used to call it hunt but basically chasing so a game of chase and <laughs> my whole life i've been i've been chasing stuff my whole life. And actually today I realized I'm not chasing stuff anymore. So new perspective, just from a journal prompt. Okay. It's amazing the insight you can get from these things when you really delve in. So yeah, the side of the eye. I'll do one more round and just tapping. So, and I didn't expect that memory to come up as we were tapping this morning. Um, but literally we had done the journal prompt I had written about my favorite subject and what it was and PE and the game of chase. And I was, I was reliving it. It was great. And then I realized, oh, we started tapping and I was like, I've been chasing things my whole life, but that that's got me to here. So I'm okay with that. That's cool. I'm really grateful for that. So then I moved to a, pl a place of gratitude, which was really beautiful. Gratitude for all the experiences that I felt in my life. So that's what EFT does. And you have to experience it to, to actually understand it, I think, a lot of the time. So, tap of the head. Okay, and gently stop tapping. So, take a deep breath in and breathe out. And then ask yourself, what's the new perspective that I can take away from this, this message today? In a way that serves you rather than keeps you stuck. Okay. So I would love to hear if any of those cards resonated with you. Um, really beautiful messages. So love is my teacher. Act from a place of love instead of doubt or fear. Today is the day, the last day that I judge myself and others. That is so important. I think that's one of the most important messages in this, in this session. Today is the last day that I judge myself and others. Very important. Okay, and then just do it. Just do it. The thing that you're putting off, the thing that's driving you mad, just do it. Don't be thinking about it. Just do it. <laughs> be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. Ask. Don't assume. Ask. Okay? Never make assumptions. Okay. And if you come across a difficult person today, reframe them. Visualize turning them into a spiritual teacher because they are going to show, present a lesson to you. Think about, the, think about it as the universe presenting with you, presenting you with an opportunity to learn from this person. And while it might be challenging, you will come at the other end. 
Okay, so I hope you resonated with those cards today. Have a wonderful day. If you would like to do more tapping, more journaling, more personal development, you are welcome to check out my Resilience and Connection Soul Circle. It is full of beautiful like-minded people who are on a journey and you are welcome to come with us. The link is in the post. Check out the information. If you want to come and join us, we would love to have you. And if not, I will see you again next week. Have a fantastic week, everyone. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.